So take us through, I guess, the international scene for Vespa, because this is a brand that is on fire in India. The, the sales are through the roof. So what, I'm curious, what are you seeing in those emerging markets? Well, what we see is, and across all markets, is a, a very, through the consumer, and this is what they tell us, a, a consistent set of values that Vespa means to them in terms of its, um, I guess, very uh, glamorous. So Vespa is just so hot in international markets. India much of the surprise of everybody is just in a market for Vespa that is absolutely on fire. So I'm curious what you're seeing in these international markets. Why is Vespa so hot? Uh, in many respects, it's outpacing much of the scooter market. Well, I think what you get with Vespa, for one, it's a, it's a premium brand. And it's, it's not just a functional product. It says something about the person that rides it. For example, we have a very consistent uh, campaign across all of the world, which is Do You Vespa? Now, what does do you Vespa mean? It's not just do you ride a scooter, but it says something about your lifestyle and a mindset as well. And particularly in the emerging markets where we find that uh, the consumer is becoming a lot more affluent and aware of brands, premium brands, luxury, Vespa is very much at the heart of that. So, so they're almost using, this is their version of, I guess, of, uh, an American car. So they're reaching for a Vespa as opposed to, let's say, a small car, because I guess because of congestion or in city streets. I think there's, there are the practical benefits of having a Vespa as well, but it's a bit more than that. It says many people may only just use them for the weekend, not just for work, because it gives them a lifestyle and it's, it's an extension of their own personality.